Welcome back, my dear students. Now we are in fifth lecture, module four, orifices and mouthpieces. In the previous class, we discussed about experimental determination of coefficient of velocity, coefficient of contraction, coefficient of discharge. Okay. In this class, we will be covering problems. Problems on video one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, just uh, going back, what all equations we uh, got here? Okay, that you should know this one Q equal to A into V that you already know. Then area is if we have a uh, circular, then pi by 4 d square. Uh, usually, we will be having always circular diameter, the circular cross section. This is over and velocity is okay. Now, uh, theoretical velocity is equal to square root of 2 g h we know and theoretical discharge is equal to area into 2 g h this we know and after that by using actual by using these we need to find actuals <clears throat> now c v is equal to v actual by v theoretical c d is equal to Q actual by Q theoretical and uh, C, C is equal to AC by A. Means from this you will come to know wherever it is asked V actual then that is your CV into V theoretical and if Q actual is asked then CD into Q at, uh, theoretical. Okay. See the flow is very easy here. The flow will be like this. Whatever the problem may be first you try to find out v theoretical how to find this v theoretical we have one equation root 2 g h one thing but many cases they may not ask you by directly giving h this v theoretical you should know how you got this v theoretical you got it by deriving how you derived this equation you should remember that how you derived we took two sections and we applied Bernoulli's equation we applied Bernoulli's equation. On application of Bernoulli's equation, we got theoretical velocity. Once you get a theoretical velocity, then the rest all things are very, very, very easy. Therefore, in this chapter, you always remember getting theoretical velocity is the challenging. If you know theoretical velocity, then the rest all problems are quick. Uh, you will get the answers very quickly. We will go one by one. Look at here, the head of water over the orifice of diameter 40 mm is 10 meter. Find the actual discharge and actual velocity of the jet at Vena Contracta. CD is 0 0.6 and CV 0.98. See here, uh, orifice is given, its diameter is 40 mm. We always write it in meters, therefore 0 0.04 meter divided by 1000, we will get it. Then. From this we can get area, I will see it later. Now I will write the data and H, the water is uh, standing over the orifice of 10 meter, therefore H is 10 meter. And they are asking us to calculate Q actual and V actual, okay. Then they have already, uh, we need to take CD is equal to 0.6 and CV is equal to 0.98, okay. The problem is very easy. First, we will find out this area. That area is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.04 square. This will be 0 0.001256 meter square. Now, we got an area. Then after getting area, we will go to V theoretical. V theoretical is equal to root 2 G H. Then square root of 2 into G is always 9.81 h is in uh, given 10 meter therefore if you calculate this one how much you are getting Fourteen. Fourteen point zero zero. okay meter per second v theoretical you got if you get a v theoretical you can calculate q theoretical q theoretical is equal to area into v theoretical then area is 0 0.001256 into 14. Okay. Then you will get a uh, actual, uh, sorry, theoretical discharge. 
theoretical discharge will be 0 0.001758 sorry 10 0. 0 0.01758 meter cube per second now look at here v theoretical is got and v uh, q theoretical we got but they are asking actual remember v actual is equal to cv into v theoretical in the formula page i have already gave cv is 0 0.98 into v theoretical is 14 okay 0 0.98 into 14 13.72 meter per second then q actual will be equal to cd into q theoretical therefore cd is how much 0 0.62 correct so cd 0 0.6 is given into q theoretical is 0 0.0175 meter cube per second then the answer you are going to get actual discharge 0 0.0105 meter cube per second the problem solved if you are not understood you can go back and study or put in a comment box we will go to the next problem the head of water over the center of the orifice of diameter 20 meter is 1 meter need to read this very carefully first they are asking uh, talking about head of the water but diameter is written first right uh? therefore the diameter of the orifice is 0 0.02 meter i am writing it directly in meter and what is the height of the water height of the water is 1 meter okay the actual discharge through the orifice very important they have given here q actual q actual is equal to 0 0.85 liters per second see always liter to meter cube divided by 1000 therefore 0 0.85 divided by 1000 meter cube per second note it down somewhere you note it down okay liter to meter cube divided by 1000 okay now. then you got q actual okay read the problem again find the coefficient of discharge okay very important they are asking us to calculate cd cd means how much okay how to proceed look at here cd is equal to q actual divided by q theoretical this you already know okay q actual is directly given nothing to worry then come to q theoretical okay what is q theoretical q theoretical is equal to area into v theoretical right v theoretical we know the answer root 2 g h right therefore we will proceed now diameter is given from that we will calculate area area is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.02 square okay this answer is 0 0.000314 meter cube meter square this you got area okay then v theoretical is equal to root 2 g h then here root 2 9.81 into 1 meter water retained therefore the answer v theoretical you are getting 4.429 4.429 meter per second v theoretical you got means q theoretical you can get that is your area into velocity then area is 0 0.00 314 into theoretical velocity is 4.429 then you will get the answer q theoretical is equal to 0 0.00139 okay this is your meter cube per second now you got q theoretical but they are asking us to calculate cd cd is equal to q actual divided by q theoretical okay what is this q actual q actual is 0.85 divided by 1000 you make it and substitute here okay then divided by q theoretical 0 0.00139 okay now you can write it like this also 0 0.85 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0 0.00139 this cd value you will get 0.61 okay okay feel happy because you got very correct answer and within the range Okay, thank you. In the next class, we'll solve a few more problems.